Yeah. She's busting out the variety pack, and she he does that every single game. We played just about six minutes, pulling and firing an impressive pass by Brooke Mullen, because she needed to get it over the top to get to the point of the double. And it's her 80th start today for Villanova. Lopez Seneschal for Villanova. Still scoreless, meanwhile, for UConn. And they will find themselves in this kind of situation, in particular in the second quarter. It's been a slow quarter for them this year, scoring-wise, and losing to her teammates uh, of making sure there's a balance between how much she's shooting and when the right part of this Villanova team is what she brings to the floor and having her on the bench it is significant. Yeah, that's huge. And it's also gets here over third. UConn had 19 for Emma, Emma, his coaching staff, this group continues to battle through dealing with, it's not just the injuries of, of the season and individuals missing time here and there, how they continue to, it's not to say they're giving up three-point shots, but they are very aware of who they want to take certain shots, and they've baited Villanova into a lot of that. Lopez Seneschal tries puts the pair. A minute 26 left to play. And you feel very comfortable playing a half-court game. It's going to be all about, as we just saw, breaking the pressure, taking care of the basketball. And draining the game clock, too. Yeah. On these last couple of possessions, again, single digits on the shot clock before the shot is taken. Low pass, center shot.